Rising rents in Toronto have inspired some in the art community to create a gallery in an unlikely space. We recently checked out Bunker 2 in Toronto and caught up with the, one of the co-founders, Matthew Kaiba. Let's take a look. When we started this, we felt that a shipping container was the best way to have an alternative uh, exhibition space in Toronto. We didn't have money to, you know, fund a $2,000 a month storefront. Uh, we didn't have, you know, a trust fund backing us up. But all of us really wanted to curate and to basically program exhibitions. And so how do you go about doing that with no money? We came to an idea of why not a shipping container? So we put the shipping container in a parking lot. Uh, our first location was also in a parking lot. We rent a space, that's our rent. And we're gonna move it other places. It's gonna move off of Church Street in June. It's gonna move probably in September as well. But the great thing about the space is it's extremely nomadic. We wanted to put it in a parking lot because it's more of an alternative space. You know, we can have different freedoms here than we would a different spot. Um, so parking lot we find that really plays up to the strengths of the gallery. The shipping container is 8 feet by 8 feet by 20 feet, so about 160 square feet if I did the math right. The response has been fantastic. I mean, honestly, we wouldn't be here without the community that's come out and helped and supported everything. And it has been honestly unbelievable to me, the amount of people that are willing to just pitch in, um, you know, support their local art scene has just been overwhelmingly positive. What we were really interested in doing is something different, experimental, something that you don't see enough of in Toronto. And so I think we're, we were really um, excited by different places like New York, like Montreal, that have more of an alternative space to showcase art. And uh, yeah, and so that's why we picked a shipping container. This exhibit was curated by Veronica Ivanova, another co-founder of the gallery, and it's a solo exhibition by Sean Stewart, uh, who works in painting and also site-specific installation. So the question that really came to mind when they were organizing the show was, how does art operate in a postmodern kind of nihilistic uh, world? Does art have a use value after postmodernity? And so Sean really wanted the viewer to come in and take from this exhibition whatever they could. It wasn't really a top-down kind of critical essay type of exhibition. It's more of what a viewer takes away from this exhibition. So he has these uh, fantastic handmade concrete columns that are kind of degrading, but also holding this space up to show that real fragility of, uh, of the gallery. Um, and he's splayed out concrete and dirt on the floor. And then, has, of course, has some of his uh, a painting and a uh, drawing at the back. And we have programming up until uh, 2018 right now. Um, so different shows, moving the gallery, bringing it back here. Um, that we're all really, really excited to do. Bunker 2 is a unique gallery in that it really forwards artistic collaboration, artistic agency, and really allows each artist to take over the space. We really want artists to be able to do their most kind of experimental or, or new ideas in this space. You know, as a nomadic space also, we're all go always going to be in new contexts and moving ourselves around to reach different communities, uh, which I think other galleries might not have the opportunity. And then finally, of course, people should come see uh, like emerging arts uh, in Toronto. And we were very, very uh, steadfast in our enthusiasm to support emerging arts in Toronto. That exhibit runs until June 4th. The co-founders also told us, as far as they know, it's the only art gallery in a sh shipping container in North America.